praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord we are welcoming you from love of jesus christ ministries amen uh, we welcome you in the name of jesus christ to this message session god put this message in my heart for at least last two weeks i have been asked by god to share this message to everyone so kindly uh, do not uh, stop this message listen from start to end god will speak to you definitely we will hear we will learn lot of things from this message amen amen god will speak through this message to you and god will bless you <coughs> amen okay the topic of today is qualified mirror amen we all know what is a mirror so mirror will be there if you go and stand before the mirror it will show our image the intention of the mirror is to show our image when god created mankind he want to show his image through the mankind he want to reflect his image through the mankind how lovable he is how great he is how much dominion and authority god holds god wants to show that through mankind that is why we read in genesis chapter 1 god created mankind in his own image in the image of god he created the male and female so god created mankind in his own image and god created mankind in sixth day for first to five days god created every creations for adam to survive for mankind to survive and handed over to mankind to rule god gave dominion to adam to rule authority to adam to rule and how much god loved them that is why he created everything in five days and and handed over uh, everything to the hadam who had been created in the sixth day he meant god loved mankind and god wants to show his power through mankind that is why hadam had been given all the authority god told adam rule over everything and he provided the enough dominion to hadam and you know when when satan saw adam he saw the image of god adam was the mirror of god hey me of god so now what happened so there is a mirror which is adam god showing his power through this mirror adam now somehow satan came to the picture and he want to disrupt this relationship so what he did he brought sin between god and the mirror he made adam and eve to disobedient to god's word once they disobedient once they uh, pluck the forbidden fruit and hate it which god prohibited them from eating but they did it disobedience and sin entered between god and the mankind sin stood before no now this is the mirror this is the god god powerful this is the mirror adam showing the image now satan trapped them and he brought the sin between god and that image and and then the mirror and sin came as a obstacle obstacle barrier so that what happened adam could not see the god's glory he meant bible records that they found them naked after they ate the fruit which means they were they were not naked actually but they lost the glory for the mirror now it is showing not the glory of god it is showing the sin it is standing before it for the god could not uh, see the mankind directly but he could see the sin covering the mankind because they become disqualified they become disqualified mirror they lost the glory of god in romans chapter 3:23 verse says for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of god what happened further after had him sin and then 
in the genealogy every every generation after generations centuries after centuries people seen the disobedient seen the disobedient curse everything sprouted out and no one could save the mankind once god uh, brought a law principles through moses through moses uh, and 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 i had asked people to follow it but the observation with the law is romans chapter 3:20 says therefore no one will be declared right in god's sight by the works of law the law pinpointed the sin it gave the knowledge about the sin okay now uh, through the moses god provided the law people had been asked to follow the law but nobody was perfect it is very obvious nobody is perfect now the law could not make them perfect as well and and again and again they are uh, uh, failed to follow the law and and heading more and more punishments over them amen so now now uh, that barrier between that mirror which had a mankind showing the image of god at the god on the other side that barrier is still there even too much worst because they now have the knowledge about the sin the now they getting the conscious about the sin and the conscious about they are sinners <sighs> right the lord did not qualify them unfortunately so what is the solution then how can god could could show his image through the mirror through the mankind so he cannot pick someone from the mankind and make them or him or her as a eligible sacrifice for all the sins the mankind committed so far because from adam everyone sinned no one is eligible so someone from the mankind cannot come forward and may themselves as a sacrifice for the sin and remove this barrier that is not possible because everyone follows the adam's way disobedient sin curse disobedient sin curse now god have to send someone from east side this side this side had in between sin this side from god side someone have to be sent to born us a mankind and to carry all the sin and to stood as a sacrifice amen so that is why hebrew chapter 1 3 says the sun is radiance of god's glory exact representation of his being amen the son of god god sent his son own son amen as a man to represent to represent god's power but as a man so he is the radiance of god's glory and the exact representation of his being what a powerful verse this is so god sent his own son because the genealogy entire genealogy of adam become sinners now someone have to be come forward to take all the sin upon themselves and, and have to be sacrificed one so that mankind can be uh, relieved from a disaster that was not possible someone to be picked from that side so god sent his own son to born as a man to born in this world to come in this into this world as a sacrifice colossians chapter 115 was says he is the image of invisible god now jesus christ came to this world as a mirror for the god adam was a mirror of the god and he lost the glory and he became disqualified mirror and every people who followed adam become disqualified because of that god sent his own son now he started to show the glory and radiance of god he became the mirror of the almighty that is why colossians chapter 115 says he is the image of invisible god and in john 14 uh, 9 says jesus himself saying the person who has seen me has seen the god 
So Jesus Christ became the mirror of God. Amen. Now, imagine this. Adam disqualified. God, sin in between. God sent his son to this side as a mankind. Now Jesus came forward and he died in the cross. He took all the sins upon himself. All the curse upon himself. Galatians 3, 13, 14 says, all the curse upon himself. He became cursed and he died. And what happened? The wall of sin, which act as entrance for the glory, now broken. Broken, finished, done. By the precious spirit of Jesus Christ, this wall had been broken. Now, listen this carefully. Now mankind, Adam was standing and then Adam's generation was failed one. And then Jesus came forward and stood before Adam. Adam was a failed one. And Jesus became the succeeded one. Successful, successful uh, thing he did. He, he, he died in the cross and he resurrected. He took victory over the death and the, and the head and took, over, over the, took victory over the sin. And he's standing as a forerunner. He's standing before God as a mirror. Now he's saying, when someone see me, you see the Father. Now Jesus Christ became the qualified mirror for us. Amen. 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 Jesus Christ becoming the qualified mirror for us. Now expectation of God is to make us as a qualified mirror for Jesus Christ. Now our job as a church is to show Jesus Christ to the world. Now, we are the mirrors for Jesus Christ. Amen. We have to show Jesus Christ to, to the world. But the problem here, lot of the ministers of God, lot of the believers of God, they are sticking their own image in the mirror. If, if they are sticking their own image in the mirror, when Jesus Christ comes, before the mirror, want to show himself, want to see himself in the mirror. Jesus want to see himself in the mirror in, from our life and want to show himself to the world through us. That didn't happen because they are sticking their own image, their own popularity, their own talents, some showing their own image in the mirror, always. And another problem, some people Showing the God, Jesus Christ in the mirror, but far away. Distanced view. They are saying that I am working for the God and doing ministry, but they are far away from the God. And in their mirror, they are showing Jesus Christ to the world as a far away image. And few people showing Jesus Christ in their mirror as a blurred image, blurred. Sometimes looks like Jesus. Sometimes looks like a different person. Sometimes looks like Jesus Christ with all the fruit of the Spirit. Sometimes different. Amen. This is another kind. But what is expectation of God? As a believer, as a minister of God is to stand as a mirror to show Jesus Christ to the world. Jesus Christ want to see himself through us and we have to show Jesus Christ to the world through us. Amen. Amen. And this qualification we didn't get because of our own righteousness. And people did all, tried all the way to become righteousness in the Old Testament, they could not achieve it. And because of the blood of Jesus Christ, we become not only mirror, but also qualified mirror. Through the grace. Amen. Amen. We become the qualified mirror for Jesus Christ through the grace. Amen. We need Holy Spirit in order to continue this relationship with God. To show Jesus Christ through us. To stand as a pure mirror. To stand as a uh, mirror which reflects God's glory to the world. 
Amen. <laughs> Amen. In Galatians chapter 5, the fruit of the spirits have been mentioned. We have to grow in the fruit of the spirit. Without Holy Spirit support, we cannot, we cannot do it. So we need Holy Spirit's power dwelling in our life so that the fruit of the spirit can grow in our life and show Jesus Christ to the world. Amen. We are the mirror for Jesus Christ. We are the qualified mirror for Jesus Christ. This qualification we didn't earn because of our righteousness. This had been given by the grace by the God. Amen. Yes. Now, conclusion. What should we do? Stand before God. Stand before God. Bible says, even after Abraham stood before God, stand before God, only then you will show his radiance through you. Amen. And have the close relationship with God. Only then you will show the exact image of Jesus Christ to this world. Amen. So, from now on, start walk closely with Jesus and show him to the world. And you and me are the mirror, qualified mirror for Jesus Christ. Adam lost it and Jesus gave this opportunity to you and me through his grace. Let me uh, do our ministry powerfully. Let me stand for the God. Let me stand as a mirror to show Jesus Christ's exact character to the entire world. And no, no one is perfect. We have to get the support. We have to request the support from the Holy Spirit. We have to uh, walk along with the Holy Spirit so that he will improve our character day by day, day by day, day by day. We will be becoming so, so much equal to God's character, Jesus' character, so that we can show his exact image through our mirror, our life. Amen. Hope this message blessed you. God will bless you if you follow to walk with the God, the close relationship with God, and to show him as a radiance to the whole world. Holy Spirit will help you. Amen. Praise the Lord.